friends, today we will be sorting our uppercase letters, our capital letters, and our lowercase letters. If you get confused by this, use your pencil box because the first letter is the capital or the uppercase and the second letter is the lowercase. So it has a pattern, capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b, capital C, lowercase c. You can also do the activity along with me. And if I go too fast, just press pause and you can catch up. If you haven't cut your letters out, press pause now and then catch up with me when you're ready. Alrighty, my very first letter is A. Is this an uppercase A or a lowercase A? It is a capital A. It looks like that one there. So I will put it on my capital A side, my uppercase A. <clears throat> Here I have an F. Is it an uppercase F or a lowercase F? This is a lowercase F. The F that has the candy cane is a lowercase F, even though it's a tall letter. Oopsies. Here's my letter D. Is this an uppercase D or a lowercase D? It is an uppercase D. Uppercase letters start people's names and they start sentences. They also start words and titles. Here's a K. Is it an uppercase K or a lowercase K? It is a lowercase K, even though it's a tall letter. We can tell because the kicking part doesn't go all the way to the top. Here I have an L. Is this a capital L or a lowercase L? It is a lowercase L. We see it matches that one there. Even though it's a tall letter, it is a lowercase L. My paper keeps moving. I am so sorry. Alrighty, here I have the letter Y. Is this a capital Y or a lowercase y? It is a capital Y. It's a tall one. The lowercase y goes down below the line. Here I have an E. Is this a capital E or a lowercase e? It is a capital E, an uppercase E. I see how it matches that E. I'll put it on the uppercase side. Remember, capital letters starts people's names and sentences, also words and titles. Here I have an X. Is this a capital X or a lowercase x? It is a lowercase x. It's the small x. Capital X looks the same. It's just bigger. It touches all the way to the top. Here I have an R. Is it an uppercase R or a lowercase r? It is a lowercase r. It matches that r there. Very good. Here I have another r. Is it an uppercase r or a lowercase r? It is an uppercase r. It's a capital letter. Remember, <coughs> excuse me, capital letter starts people's names sentences and words and titles. Here's a T. Is it a capital T or a lowercase t? It is a capital T, so we'll put it on the uppercase letter side because uppercase letters start people's names and sentences and words and titles. Here's a Q. Is this a capital Q or a lowercase Q? It is a capital Q. The lowercase Q has a tail that goes below the line. This is my uppercase Q. This is a letter M. Is this an uppercase M or a lowercase M? It is a lowercase M. The capital M touches all the way to the top. Here we have an A. Is this an uppercase A or a lowercase A? It is a lowercase A. It's a little a. We don't use that to start someone's name or start a sentence or start titles. Here we have an E. Is this an uppercase E or a lowercase E? 
It is a lowercase e. It even matches that e there. And last but not least, I have letter T. Is this an uppercase T or a lowercase T? It is a lowercase T and matches that T there. Most of the time, most of our letters that we write and we see in reading are lowercase letters. Uppercase letters, capital letters, start names and sentences and words and titles. Let's say all the letters on this side are capital or uppercase letters. A, R, D, T, Y, Q, E. Let's say all of our lowercase letters. F, R, T, K, M, L, A, X, E. Great job sorting your letters. When you have completed yours, please take a picture so we can see it on Seesaw.